Well, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today. And if you have not been keeping up with what's been happening in Bucks, Pennsylvania, well, there's a lot that's been happening. They've been continuing to count votes and against the orders of the Pennsylvania Supreme Court and the Supreme Court of the United States, commissioners from, uh, from Bucks County decided to go ahead and count illegal ballots, ballots that were not allowed to be counted, uh, specified by the Pennsylvania Supreme Court and the Supreme Court saying these ballots that were late and not marked uh, are not allowed to be counted into the totals of the ballots. However, these commissioners on camera said, yes, we know we're breaking the law and we're going to count them anyway. Well, the public came together and demanded the arrest of those commissioners today. Those commissioners need to be arrested because they were on camera stating they were willfully breaking the law in Pennsylvania and federal law that had already been passed and uh, courts had already ruled. You are not allowed to count those ballots. Those ballots are not countable. You cannot count them. And they refuse to do so because they are so desperate for their Democrat senator to win this race. And if right as of right now, the Republican is still leading in that race. Let's go ahead and take a look at this because this is coming to us from Twitter over here from Bucks County. Uh, in this town hall that they're having with the commissioners, a citizen of Bucks County, Pennsylvania, just exposed the commissioners who voted to count illegal ballots to help Democrats. She told them she filed for criminal prosecutions against them. Let's take a listen to this uh, lady talk about it. Last Thursday, when you were deciding that you should count illegal ballots, missing at least one signature, the attorney said over and over again that it is illegal to count these. Diane said... Quote, precedent by a court doesn't matter anymore in this country, and people violate the laws anytime they want. So for me, if I violate this law, it's because I want a court to pay attention to me. You being the slick, slick politician you are, you didn't even say yes or nod your head. Your eyes were closed and your face was expressionless. Bob. This was your opportunity to be a leader. You could have put a big brotherly arm around her and said, there, there, Diane, I know you're very passionate about this, but we have to follow the law. You could have done this, but oh no, what did you do? You voted to violate the law along with her. Diane's actually right though. The law doesn't matter anymore in this country because people like you violate it all the time and all we the people do is sit here and complain. Well, I want to let you know that I'm not going to take it anymore. I have decided to file a criminal complaint against both of you for breaking the following laws. Yes. <clears throat> Title 25, Section 3050. Title 25, Section 3501. Title 25, Section 3510. Title 25, Section 3527. 52 U.S.C. 10308. Oh, and by the way, Gene, when they're arrested, we want an evening town hall style commissioners meeting. One. <laughs> yeah, pure fire right there from that uh, amazing patriot right there and the people from Bucks County who showed up to that town hall to demand justice for these commissioners who decided openly on camera that they were going to break the law. Breaking law by counting ballots, which the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania and the Supreme Court of the United States said you cannot count those ballots. Those are not ballots that you're able to count. They said we're going to count them anyway. We're going to count them because our guy that we want to win hasn't won yet. And we're going to do everything we can in order to try to help him win. These people belong in prison. That's the only way you're going to get a message across. This is the only way that you're going to be able to send the message that we are done with corruption. We're done with people manipulating elections. We're done with this type of, of, of foolishness that is taking place, this criminality that's taking place across our countries, across these states, that will just continue to count and count and count and ignore any law, any order given to them by the Supreme Courts. They're going to ignore them anyway. Uh, they need to be arrested. They need to be put in prison after they're tried by a just jury anyway let me know what you guys think in the comments down below of course you guys follow me in all my social media all linked in the description down below don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and until next time i will see you guys later have a great great day